Hi everyone, Toshikon here. So recently I started reading a new series called Blue Period, and it was absolutely fantastic. So Blue Period explores the, the world of art, the studying, the actual application, and specifically modern art. And Blue Period is fantastic at that. With Blue Period, we explore a very cool world of art that really needs to be talked about more. Specifically modern art, how difficult art school really is. Blue Period is a fantastic series to explore this, as well as how hard it is to actually be good at what you really love. And that's why I really like about this series. It shows how difficult following your passions truly are. So the series starts with the Yatoro Yaguchi, popular high school kid who would rather do anything else than art. One day, he sees one of his classmates' art pieces and is literally moved by it. The piece is astounding him. We follow him from then on as he holds a paintbrush and for the first time and joins the school's art club. And we see his journey continue from his high school life, his college life, as he tries to go into Tokyo University of Arts, the most prestigious arts university in all of Japan, with a literal 5% chance of acceptance, not even that. Um, the series is named after one of Picasso's famous works of called Blue Period, talking about the depression that artists usually have, which is really fitting to the series. So one of the things I really enjoyed about the series is, this, is how it deals with school life, depicting it perfectly, balancing work, school, friends, while trying to maintain your passions and hobbies. Giving up, coming back, procrastinating, exploring, trying, failing, all things I love to see. One of the things I really enjoyed with the series is how it's not afraid to talk about how hard balancing all this is. We see yeah, the, our main character, Yadara, having issues not keeping up with his friends while working his art deadlines, or we see the reverse, with him taking too much time with his friends and school and screwing up his deadlines. And I really enjoy seeing this as it shows how hard balancing these things really is like in the real world. The series also does a great job at showing art history and showing multiple art pieces throughout the series. And also does a really good job at actually explaining what art really is to me. Because to me, I didn't really understand a lot of technical aspects of art until I read the series. And it really opened my eyes as to what is the right way to observe and like think about art. And I'm really happy about that. Um, one of the other really things I enjoyed about it was how it actually shows how difficult it is to be an artist, getting inspiration constantly and trying to trying to literally see them fire shot after shot of paintings, artwork, sketches, working, failure, working, failure, working, success, continuing that. And I really enjoy seeing that. Another thing I really love about it is that we see Yodoro break down. We see him we see the drain following his passion can be we see how it makes him feel we make we see how him cry over it we see him laugh over it we see him uh, be tired over it we see him hurt from it and when a series is able to do this and it's very unique and it happens very rarely what the series does really well it shows how it fails and fails and fails we see his friends family and his loved ones come to even help him out and even then He's failing, he's trying his best. And I really enjoy seeing that. And we see how he succeeds. We see him come to all this and it shows life, pick up on most anime tropes. It really depicts the hard truth of it. And it really hits the college life accurately. It shows drinking with your friends, it shows working, it shows school, it shows how hard it is, and shows what it, what becoming an adult really is. For example, we see when he is critiqued regarding one of his pieces and begins to break down. So. Small spoilers, um, I don't think this will be covered in the first season of the anime that will be coming out, but still small spoilers, so skip to this timestamp. So when one of his art instructors tells him his piece is nothing more than a rehash of one of his old pieces, he begins to break down, rashes on his arms, sleeping less, waking up on incorrect times. We see him skipping out on his friends, saying he's busy, when in reality he's just procrastinating. We see him realize that, and then we see a panel of him crutching his own face, saying, I'm terrified of drawing at this point. And he is absolutely terrified because to him at this point, drawing is either getting in or out of university and he's freaking out. And it takes one of his friends and tells him, you're not scared of drawing. You love drawing. You're scared of finding out of being disqualified by the judges. You're scared of what other people would think of your drawings. You're scared of what other people would think of you. And that's really unique thing the series does is right before the exam is supposed to begin with, we see him walk down a hallway and we see other people standing, walking, and they're mumbling, they're shaking, they're sweating. Some of them are almost on the verge of tears. Some of them are really happy. Some of them are excited. Some of them are nervous. 
and it shows. Everyone is feeling this. Everyone. And the pressure isn't just on him. It's on everyone to do well. And I really enjoy when a series really does that. So with something like Blue Period, exploring how hard adult life really is, I have to give it major props for that. So for characters, we have Yadara, who is our main character, and I really like seeing him transition from having absolutely nothing to do to absolutely going head head into something and really seeing his progression from just being interested in it to fully wanting to become a university student on it. I love seeing him fail. I love seeing him succeed. Then we have Ryuji Ayukawa. His character is very interesting. I don't want to get into too much spoilers, but um, I really enjoy what, what they did with him. I really enjoy seeing his character, and I really want to see where the story takes him from there on. After that, we have a couple more of his friends. As for the rest of the characters, I really don't want to say too much about them, but I have to say a lot of them are real people, and I really enjoy that. Some of them are just students, some of them are in their uh, older ages trying to get into art. They're showing people that have taken the multiple attempts at this. They're showing teachers, they're showing people, and everybody is a real character. And I really enjoy when a series can do that. So another point I really wanted to talk about was how the series does paneling, art, a series about art. All of it is fantastic. So all the paneling, the artworks, the character designs, everything the series does is done in a very intricate way. And when showing artworks, they decide to show actual Japanese artworks, and I really enjoy that. Plus, seeing the cool designs, seeing really neat ways they do panels and using different art techniques, as well as giving us some introductory art lessons throughout the series, is really good. And I really have to give credit to the series because they really could, didn't have to do it, and yet they did. And I really enjoy it. Some of the designs and backgrounds, as well as some of the paintings that they do show, are really breathtaking and are really worth a watch. And I really hope the series can do it justice. Hi, this is Toshikan here. Uh, thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you like and subscribe to this. Thank you.